Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of basic looping animations in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's start this by creating a new composition. So further click on this new composition. Come to this preset options. Here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with the frame rate of 30 and duration of 18 seconds. Hit OK. So now let's create a solid layer for background. So go to this layer options, new create a solid. I will rename this as BG which is background. Make it of comp size and hit OK. So now come to this effects and presets panel. If you are not finding panel here, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for ramp gradient ramp such as ramp here so select this gradient ramp and drop it onto this background layer fine so start color i will change this to something like a blue so dark blue fine and end color i will change this to black and ramp shape let me change this to radial ramp and let me increase the scatterize here like this okay so now let's create another solid layer for element 3D. So you can go to this layer options, new, create a solid. Let me rename this as element, make it of comp size and hit OK. So now again come to this effects and presets panel and look for element. So element is a third party plugin. We need to download and install it separately. So after that select this element and drop it onto this element layer. So now click on the scene setup. So here we got a new window open to work in element 3D. So here I will be using basic models from startup pack. You can use any models you like. So if I select this here, we got this clock model. I will select this one. I will place this here. And also I will select this soda can and I will place this here. Okay. So here both these models, let me bring it here. Okay. So here both these models are in group one. Okay. So I will create a extra group. So click on this group icon here. So now select these both models and drop them onto this group folder. So these are in subfolder. Okay, fine. So now again come to the starter pack and let me select this spray can. Okay. So I will place the spray can here. So now I need to move the spray can into this main group folder. Okay. So in main folder we got the spray can and in subfolders we got this alarm clock and soda can. Fine. So for spray can, I will apply an illuminating material. So come to this physical shader and apply this bright light. And also let me change the color to dark orange or else let it be red. Nice. Fine. So we got these things. So now select this sub group folder. Come to this symmetric options here. Okay. In the symmetric axis, I will enable this X axis because here I want to make these objects mirrored in x axis okay so i will enable this x axis here so now if i move this let me select these both models hold shift key and select the model so now if i move them along x axis we can see we got this mirrored here so here i think let it be here so now let me select this spray can and i will place them in between here fine so after that click on this ok button so now we can see we got our models here so in order to view this in 3D space, first we need to create a camera layer. So go to this layer options, new create a camera and the preset I will use 35 mm and hit OK. So now select this element layer once again. All the models are in group one. So we will be working in group one. So expand this group one. Now come to this particle replicator. First particle count, I will increase this to 10 and replicator shape change this to ring. OK. So now if I select this camera tool and if I move this here, you can see these are formed in ring shape nice this is looking good so now in order to get our animations done let's come to this particle look so now be on the first frame come to this particle rotation so if i move this here you can see we are getting our animation already created so here i will enable all the keyframes of x y and z so let me expand this a bit here so here X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation, I have added a keyframe. So now move to the last frame and I will change this to three, three and three. Okay. So now if I play this, 
we can see we got our animation created here so depending upon number of particles this will look different so for example if i change this particle count to 20 this will look different okay so depending upon your choice you can use the number of count you like so after that scroll down come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion here and also let me enable glow and illumination i will change this to 0.5 fine and okay so this is enough so let me duplicate this element layer by pressing ctrl plus d or else go to this edit option and duplicate so now select this above element layer scroll down come to this output expand this one so in show change this to illumination so that we'll get only illuminated material here so now come to this effects and presets and look for glow so select this glow and drop it onto this above element layer and let me increase the glow radius and also let me reduce the threshold here a bit okay so now after that click on this toggle switches and change this blend mode to add okay so now if i play this you can see we got this nice glow added into the scene so now let's rotate the camera so you can directly rotate the camera by using these options here so here i will be creating a null object so go to this layer options new create a null object so make it as 3d layer if you're not finding these options click on this toggle switch you will get that make this null object as 3d and parent camera to this null okay so now press r on the keyboard and now let me get this z orientation here so beyond the first frame for that add a keyframe for this orientation and let me change the value to 35 and move 9 seconds forward in timeline and let me change this value to 20 and again move forward in timeline to the last frame and let me change this to 35 once again so now if i play this we can see we got this nice looking loopable animation here so in this way we can create this kind of animations in adobe after that using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye